Hey everybody, so in this video in the Linux Fundamentals, I want to talk about Cockpit for managing a server. So I let's see if we even have that installed. Um, let's do system control status. We probably need to go sudo system control status. cockpit okay so it can't be found so we likely don't have it installed so let's install it so we're going to install it. it's a web console for managing linux servers so let's just do the install. Okay, so this is going to take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the recording while we wait for it to finish installing. Okay, cockpit's been installed. Let's see, system sudo system control status cockpit so it is not started so let's start it start cockpit and now if we do a status you can see it is active, running. All right, does it tell us? So I had to look up what port it listens on. So this is a web interface to manage it, and it looks like it's 9090, so let's, let's try this. So we're going to try to connect to 10.10.200.90 colon 9090. Okay, that's good. It's giving me that. I'll accept it. And here it is. So Rocky Linux, this is coming up. That's good. Okay. So then we can just type in Chris R. And we have limited access. But we can also switch to administrative access going up here. And, tight, and hitting that. So I think we'll do that soon. Um, so this gives us a nice overview of everything, right? This gives us the host name, um, system information, memory, CPU. Also a good way you can look at logs. It's a nice graphical way to, to check things. I don't generally use this, but it's not a bad tool to have. Networking. We can look at networking here. Maybe this is just spinning because I have limited access. So there we go. Okay. So there you can see a graph of the performance right now. So logs, logs are nice to have. Here you can see error and above. Accounts on the machine and services, we can look there. And here you see all the services. We should see, let's see, let's look at one we're running cockpit right here cockpit running right there there's the web service https instance i mean this this looks a little bit better than when i i think i saw i for, I, I forget exactly when they started when rel started adding this to to linux maybe in 7 But this looks this looks pretty good. 
It's got some good information. It's a little slow in the lab environment, but it's it's not bad in normally it shouldn't be this slow. Uh, you can do software updates. Okay, so let's do this. Let's click. Can we go back to the overview? Let's turn on administrative access. Put in my password. Okay, so now, all right, so now I have administrative access. And let's look at any software updates. So we can do software updates from here. It's really, really taking a long time. Okay, so. I'm going to pause the recording while we wait for that to load. Okay, so it looks like that is not coming up. So what I'm going to do is let's continue looking around in here. So we have a terminal. So that's pretty nice, right? You can go in here and uh, just take a look at terminal information you can do ll just like you're on the just like you're directly on the terminal so that's that's nice you could manage everything right through this web interface if you wanted to uh se linux secure linux right now it's enforcing there's also a kernel dump you can do diagnostic reports And let's see, what else do we have? Applications. So it's not showing me anything there. So it, right now something's using the package manager. I'm not sure what. I'm going to cancel that. So it looks like you can do quite a bit with this. I mean, it's pretty nice, actually. Network logs. Manager startup complete. Look, this this is showing us pretty good information. Firewall. Wow, we can even edit the firewall in here. And there will be some information a little later on, on the firewall. And I'll explain how the firewall D works on Linux. But wow, this is this is actually Pretty, pretty nice and pretty user friendly. I'm kind of impressed by by this. I haven't looked at it in a while, so not not bad. So that is the cockpit management service that ships with Red Hat, Rel, with Rocky, with all of these. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'd like to thank you.